Hey everyone, Grant here for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Keyboard Shortcut Editor in the Flame 2018.1 update. We'll cover the basic workflow as well as some easy inbuilt functionality to help you customize the keyboard to your requirements. This video is not footage specific so you can use your own media to follow along. So let's say you want to set or remap a specific button or function in the Flame products. To open the Keyboard Shortcut Editor, click on the main menu and choose Keyboard Shortcuts. This is mapped to Control Alt F8. Now I just want to point out that when you scroll the list, the yellow colour indicates a global keyboard shortcut. This means the shortcut is active throughout the application. The white colour towards the bottom of the list indicates local keyboard shortcuts and these keyboard shortcuts only work in their respective modules. Now you can arrange the keyboard shortcuts by number, description, keyboard shortcut keystrokes, category and user. Just clicking on the text in the title bars will change the arrangement between ascending, descending and not sorting. So let's choose a function to map to a keyboard shortcut. Scroll down the bottom of the list and choose Splice Selection. This is currently not mapped to anything. Now when a function or button is selected, the keyboard will dynamically update and show you what keystrokes are available. Any keystrokes already taken will be greyed out to avoid any conflicts. So in the case of Splice Selection in the Clip Management category, all the single keystrokes are already taken. Therefore, all the letters on the keyboard are greyed out. However, the auxiliary keystrokes are available. So press CONTROL. Since CONTROL is now considered as part of a combination keystroke, the keyboard updates again and this shows you what other keystrokes are available to be used in combination with CONTROL to create the keyboard shortcut. Now just for argument's sake, let's say you decide to ignore the dynamic notifications on the on-screen keyboard and set any combination you choose. For example, click CLEAR to remove any previously pressed keystrokes and press CONTROL S. Flame still allows you to press these keyboard shortcuts. But as soon as you click SET, which defines the keyboard shortcut for the function, you will get an error message suggesting a conflict. As I'm sure you all know, CONTROL S is mapped to saving for most applications and you're about to remap the shortcut to SPLICE SELECTION. So you're given a choice of three options. If you press CLEAR, any functions previously mapped with CONTROL S will be wiped out to avoid a keyboard shortcut conflict. CONTROL S will then solely be mapped to SPLICE SELECTION. But if you press KEEP, CONTROL S will still be mapped for the saving functions but it will also be forcibly mapped to SPLICE SELECTION. This is sometimes necessary in certain reported cases but it can cause keyboard shortcut conflicts if not used carefully. So I think you'd probably use CLEAR more than KEEP. In this case, we do want to have an original keyboard shortcut for the selected function. So just click CANCEL. Clear the keystrokes again and hold CONTROL and press W. This keyboard shortcut combo is available and you would have seen it on the on-screen keyboard. Click SET. This sets the keyboard shortcut for this specific function. A user mapped keyboard shortcut is also indicated by the Y in the user column. Now you can carry on setting more keyboard shortcuts to suit your needs. However, very importantly, your keyboard shortcuts need to be saved and not just set before closing the keyboard shortcut editor. Just click SAVE ALL and the keyboard shortcuts will be saved with your current user profile. Now here are some extra bonus functionalities that are part of the keyboard shortcut editor. Firstly, if you know of a button in the interface that you would like to assign a keyboard shortcut, you can hide the panel and click on the button. 
This loads the button into the keyboard editor and you can assign it to a keyboard shortcut. Now with buttons offering pop-up choices, you can cycle the options with the keyboard shortcut. And for functions that take a numeric value, you can set a variety of values and increments. This allows for all types of buttons and functions to be mapped to a keyboard shortcut. Secondly, if you're looking for a specific function, you do have the ability to type a search keyword and try find the function through the search results. Don't forget that you can also sort by columns as mentioned earlier and that also might help you locate a function. Finally, there is one last functionality to discuss with regards to the keyboard shortcuts. Please close the keyboard shortcuts editor. If you are using Python hooks for additional functionality, such as the shotgun integration, you can make the options available through the various menus. For example, click on the main menu and you will see the function to launch the shotgun panel. Whenever a Python hook like this is set to appear in a menu, you can also assign it to a keyboard shortcut. Open the keyboard shortcuts editor with Ctrl Alt F8. Now sort the list by category in ascending order. When you scroll the list down, you will eventually find the hook category. Any Python hook commands that appear in the various menus will also appear within this category and you should be able to assign them to a keyboard shortcut. So that sums up how to use the keyboard shortcuts editor and be sure to check out the other updates to the Flame 2018.1 update. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel for future videos.